What's going on everybody? It's the Super Robot N and today we've got more leaks of one of the wreckers. Uh, this is supposed to be Amazon exclusive version of the Titans Return or Legend Class, uh, not Legend Class, excuse me, Legends uh, Twin Twist from a few years back. Now we know a lot of people had a hard time getting Twin Twist and Topspin in the Titans Return line and of course if you try to get them in the Legends line it's going to cost a little more. Now they both Versions are now going through the roof in prices. They're settling around $100 to $150. Mitten box. Even loose, he's going for about $80, $90. So this is your opportunity to get not only just a twin twist, but you're getting the Diaclone repaint, which is, I think, a great asset. Plus, he has the blue Wrecker Autobot symbol on his front chest. This thing looks phenomenal. And this mold itself was very good for Titan's Return. A fun transformation. So here he is, the original uh, Titan's Return version of Twin Twist. He came with the two guns. A slightly kind of off-white, um, you know, like a kind of greenish blue compared to the Legends version, which was more of a G1 uh, paint scheme, mostly, you know, mainly with the blue in the white people saying they look like Gundams no this is their actual color on the G1 toy should be a little lighter and then with twin twist we got a remold into Roadfire which is of course from Zone which was never animated but we did have a toy for it they made some changes as far as remolding uh the drill parts and now these little back plates and he comes with this big gun and he could turn into a base but he's still basically his twin twist now we're going to get into some pictures of the actual figure itself and he looks good. The paint apps are great. He has that those that four barrel gun or quad barrel gun that can form. I've always liked that. I give them credit, you know, because I know during the Titans Return line, they were trying to make these guns that were interactive with the Headmaster. But I always did like this one just because of the fact that that's an awesome gun, man. <laughs> that's a lot of firepower in one hand. And if you're a fan of the Wreckers, you know, comics and things of this nature, this is a good repaint for diaclone like i'm not into all the diaclone repaints i kind of shied away from that i want the you know of course the ultra magnus which is shattered glass but it's really you know diaclone but this one looks really good i won't pass this up i definitely will review this i still have my titans return twin twist and top spin now i'm very pleased i didn't go for the legends versions because i didn't really feel like i needed them um because they didn't come with target master so i just kind of I kind of skipped that, saved a little bit of money and paying extra. Uh, but the vehicle mode is stunning. I love those colors. And I love the details that they did on the Headmasters versus how they did them in the Titans Return line. It really just, there's no details in the robot mode. This one actually looks a lot better. Um, I'm really impressed with that. You can actually see the head make out the details. There's real color separation here. And of course the head sculpt again is amazing i can't really tell if it's exactly the same as the uh has Return twin twist or legends but i think it is it's just painted blue and that's just making it look different but yeah it does look good i think people will enjoy this and have a good time and of course here's some other diaclone repaints um you know that they're with and yeah it fits in just fine i won't get them all but still i want this one so yeah, just to recap, this looks good. This is a great uh, addition to the Diaclone repaints. This is also a good way for collectors to get Twin Twist. I mean, Titans Return Twin Twist has gone up so bad in price that people are like, oh, I hope they make a new one. I hope they make a new one. Hasbro said, uh-uh. How much more can we do except maybe not make them a headmaster? That's basically what they could do this figure has phenomenal engineering it's probably one of the best i love transforming this figure back and forth between the modes it's it's not complicated but it ain't like something simple like the original toy because that just springed open but still they did a good job on this on this and i think reusing this mold shows that sometimes hasbro or hashtag can do things right so leave your thoughts down in the comments below if you're going to get this again my name is super robot ed we'll see you soon with more news until then bye bye